Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. So I'm out here in the dark showing you my brand new homemade pipe burner that I'm going to use in my syrup cooker later on in the fall. I needed to build three of these. This is the second one I built, so I thought I'd do a little video on how easy it is to build a homemade pipe burner. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly how to make it, show you exactly what parts you need to purchase. To get started, the only four raw materials I needed to make my six foot pipe burner are shown on my work table here. So I purchased a 10 foot section of one and a quarter inch black pipe from one of the big box stores. They cut it to 78 inches, which was what I requested, and they also threaded it on each end. I bought this Venturi from Teja Smokers, and I purchased an orifice and also a pipe cap. Okay, the first thing we're gonna to do to get started is snap a chalk line so we'll know where to make our cuts. Okay, and all I did to snap the chalk line, I just found the highest point of the pipe on each side pulled the line down it and snapped it. When I first decided to build a pipe burner, I did a lot of research online. One thing I noticed is that people suggested a throat at the start of your pipe burner, and that's an area right here where your gas and your air can mix properly so you get a good burn down your pipe burner. Some people said, hey, make it four inches. Some people said six. Some people said eight. The Teja Smokers guys said make it eight inches. I'm using their Venturi. So we're gonna make this eight inches. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna mark this at eight inches and get us a mark. So that's where our cuts are gonna start, okay? Now, for each cut after that, it's gonna be one and a half inches apart. So I'm starting off at eight, I'm gonna go nine and a half, I'm gonna go 11, then I'm gonna just keep going down the row here, one and a half inches apart just all the way to the end. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna cut these. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, where we marked all the way down the chalk line, we're actually gonna go back and we're gonna use a framing square and each place we marked, and this is the first mark here, we are going to put a line of about one and a half inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see our lines, we're just gonna go down that and that's where we're gonna cut. So to let you know how we're gonna cut this, basically I've got a four and a half inch angle grinder. I've got a cutoff wheel I'm gonna put on it. And the most important thing, I'm gonna be wearing gloves. I'm actually gonna be wearing a long sleeve shirt, safety glasses and hearing protection. Let's get started. Okay, the age old question is how deep do you actually cut into the pipe? So what I like to do is I like to grind into the pipe where I cannot see my mark anymore. And if you'll notice, what that gets you is about a one inch cut into the actual part of the pipe. Because remember, we made these one and a half inches. You grind until you can't see that, it's gonna leave you about one inch into that pipe. So this is my second pipe burner that I've made recently and in the first one I had to drill out the orifice to get the proper burn throughout the whole pipe because I need to slow down some of the velocity of the gas and so what I did before is I drilled out the orifice to 564 and that's what I'm doing here I'm going to drill this out at 564 so we got the orifice drilled out now we're just going to put it onto the Venturi All right, okay, now that we've got our orifice drilled out and onto our Venturi, all we do now is place the Venturi onto our pipe. All right. Okay, finally, we're gonna place our cap on, but first, what I want you to do is turn this pipe upside down because when you were cutting all these cuts into your pipe, there's gonna be a lot of metal deposits in there. So turn this pipe upside down, dump all that out. All right, we're gonna put our cap on. Okay, I'm back out here at night because I want to show you how this gas burner is going to light up for the first time. I've already connected my hose. I've got a 30 PSI regulator on here. You don't need a 30 PSI, a 20 PSI will work. We're going to connect up the gas tank and get going. 
Okay, so we're going to turn on the gas and open up the regulator. Okay, we have some gas filling it up. Okay, we're just going to light it. And we're just going to adjust it. Get that yellow out of it. Okay, well there you go. That's the first lighting of this gas burner and it's looking really good. Okay, and here's what it's looking like from the Venturi end. So now we're going to go around to the pipe cap end, but it really looks even over the whole pipe. Okay, so here's what it looks like from the pipe cap end and it's burning really nicely. So remember, we only have four main materials for this. We have a pipe, we have a pipe cap, we have a Venturi, and we have an orifice. That and a little hard work and you can have your own pipe burner as well. So thanks for watching and we hope you gain some useful knowledge on how easy it is to make a homemade pipe burner.